What's up guys, Ankle Spankin' here, and today we are accidentally leaving fraps on the screen. But anyways, I think you, I don't think you guys can even see it in the first place, but we are playing Fizz in the mid lane in this game. And um shoot. Uh, this is risky. I'm gonna do it anyways. Usually in a Lissandra lane I would actually take Flask and three potions because Lissandra is in a massively hard lane for Fizz to lane against. But anyways, outside of that, there is something I did want to say to you guys just so you know kind of my plan and hopefully you can look forward to it with me. Uh, recently, there have been a lot of the videos I've been uploading. It's not that I haven't been having fun with them. It's just that I've been trying to actually... It, it's been a little bit more difficult than usual for me to really enjoy because I'm forcing myself to play champions that I don't usually play much or I don't really like to play that much and that kind of makes it so I don't <laughs> you know I truly don't enjoy it that much um so I decided that I'll just quit being a bitch about it then and I will just um go off on this little spree where I play champions that I <laughs> I really really like playing like my favorite champions for all the roles and we'll try that and it looks like we have Caitlyn getting caught out here with the slow and we have the f oh there's the first blood just like that did not need to drop my ignite. I thought she would flash. So, I just jumped out of the bush at her with my playful trickster. Left it up to slower. And hopefully, hopefully this will help me a lot gain that little extra gold at the beginning. Uh, I could have possibly gone back and gotten the potion, or gotten two more potions there to help me in this lane. But it's not really worth it. And anyways, as I was saying though guys, uh, I will be playing pretty much all my favorite champions for all the roles over, the, uh, over these next videos for a little while. It looks like Lissandra was up in there and recording. I'm going to go ahead and tell her that. So I don't know. Oh, yeah. I invited her to play ranked. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I was sitting there trying to figure out why she was telling me she was in the tower. So <laughs> I was like, that'll distract her. Wait, what happened there? What? what? Man, if I was paying attention, I'd probably... Probably could have gone up there, and this is exactly why this lane freaking sucks for Fizz. Because you just get poked so, so much. But, we'll try our best. And I just ran straight into that, that kind of sucks. I'm going to grab my Q, just for uh, just for now. Because I, usually when I play Fizz, I don't start with my E. But we're in, or when we're invading, I think it's better to start E, because it gives you that big slow. And uh, the extra burst. So, that will be fine for that. Um... Let's see here. I'm just going to keep farming, though. And I don't know where Lissandra went. She probably went over to help... Uh, What's-his-face do his blue? Master Yi. That's probably where she went there. But that's okay. Just going to keep up the farming. Looks like Lee Sin going to do some damage over here. Will he kill him? I don't know if that's going to be a kill. The flash is going to happen, though. Yeah, he's not going to kill him. So, no kill coming out there. Let's go ahead and get this. The problem with trying to actually poke Lissandra down a lot is the fact that if I jump on her, she'll uh, use her AoE and stun me on the ground. And if I don't jump on her, she'll uh, she'll sit here and poke me down just like she is right now. So it's a really awkward position, and I don't want to go in on her that much right now because she has so many range minions. And I know if I get hit by those, I'm going to be taking a lot of damage. We have Lee Sin coming in, so I'm going to go ahead and just... Oh, there's the avoidance right there! And we will be able to do a lot of damage here. I fucking... Flashed and didn't didn't get my auto off. Rip. All right, no, I'm not gonna go for that. Ugh, damn it. All right, well that was both of our flashes, and that kind of sucks for me. But she doesn't have any mana now, and actually, if Lee Sin wanted to come back around, that could be a very successful kill. If you come back real fastly, we can probably kill. All right. If he has the HP, I was just letting him know because I'm actually about to hit level four as well, and. There we go, now I have a bit more mana. I might be able to bait her, and I don't know... Oh, their jungler is Master Yi, and... Oh yeah, Yi's behind, so... We can probably do something. How much mana is this? 90? Alright, I have enough for a full combo. So I can actually kind of bait her pretty hard. I'm gonna go ahead and run up here for this CS. Kind of at... Oh god, he is going in a lot faster than I thought he was going to. Alright. Oh wait, if... Oh, if he actually jumped on that, we probably could have killed him. Because I could have Eden and then wq into her face. So that was my mistake for uh, not paying attention, but I actually should be able to kill her if she comes close enough now that I have my ignite up. So let's go ahead and just do this, and... Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she dropped her ignite too, and it's actually probably a good thing that I went in there when I did anyways, because now, um... 
Lee Sin, or not Lee Sin, but Master Yi doesn't get much out of it, and Lee's actually going to get a lot of lane experience right now. So this isn't bad. And what's even better right now is the fact that I'm actually... Oh, fuck, dude. I don't... This is a really hard choice right now. I really, really need to get the Sheen, but I can't afford to get the Sheen and get no potions in this lane. I simply cannot afford to do that. So I'm just going to get the Fiendish Codex to try and build up to my DFG. And instead of getting Sheen... Like, I'll, I'll be getting Sheen very, very soon anyways. But just instead of getting it right now, Teemo should be able to just kill Trindamir. Yeah. Okay, he's going to kill... Yeah, he's going to kill him. I was going to say, he probably could have just killed him really easily there. But let's go ahead and just do some damage to Lissandra. There we go. A good trade for us. And I'm actually totally fine with trading like that right now because I've got so many potions. And she just used both of her only two potions. So... This is not bad. And I accidentally just leveled up my Q, which, I mean, is fine because I level up my Q second anyways. But I usually don't uh, don't level it up before I finish leveling my E. So I'm actually going to miss the Siege Minion. JK, she cleared the way for me. Thanks, Lissandra. You're a nice lady. But let's see. After I hit 6, we should be having... Actually, that's iffy. Because after you hit 6 against Lissandra and she's 6, you know, it gets kind of kind of tough to do stuff. Because her ultimate is literally the biggest cop lock in the world to you. So let's go ahead and just do some damage to her here. Boom! Gonna take her down quite a lot. And if Lee Sin comes in, just lands a Q, he's gonna kill her. So, oh, here he comes and Okay. The unpredictable little jump there. Let's go ahead and just E on this guy. Slow him down. And BAM! This will be a kill for me! Making the wrong choice to dive onto me. Taking that kill and... Master Yi just tried to stay in just slightly too long, and he will lose his life for it. So I'm just going to clear this wave and go back again, because we do actually have the CS advantage by a lot right now. Plus two kills where Lissandra only has one. So, all things considered, this lane is going beautifully for me right now. Beautifully for us. So I'm going to go back, get the components for a Sheen, and then I will get many, many, many potions again. Because that is what's going to really really keep me from losing this. After my Ignite's up, I can probably all enter again. Especially now that I have a red too. That will really increase my ticking dot damage. And one thing that a lot of people need to also remember about Fizz that a lot of people really seem to forget is that his W's dot does more damage the lower the enemy is. So it does, I think it does, what, yeah, 4% of the target's missing health um, as damage. So the lower someone is, the more damage you'll end up doing to them. And that's really powerful. So let's go ahead and just jump on her and actually totally miss. That was horrendous. So I'm just going to take a free horrible trade for me and chill. Really hope Lee Sin is going to let me have this blue, but it's not really looking like he will. And that kind of sucks. But I should be able to get all this main, so that's good. That'll help out a lot. Uh, oh, he needed it to get to 6. That's understandable. If he was already 6, then I would have been kind of salty that he took it, but since he needed it to become 6, that is A-OK. -okay. So let's go ahead and just chill back here for a little bit. Just probably going to try and queue. There it is. And now I can run up and get some CS. The problem with Lissandra's Q is that she does exactly that, where if you're behind a minion, she can still hit you really easily with it, because it increases the range by, like, double when she hits a minion with her Q. It makes it really hard to, uh, to do... Well, to really do anything, I mean, let's go ahead and actually get myself out of here. Because I'm just going to get these potions ticking right now. And um, kind of relax a little bit. Because if she full combos me, I'm going to die. Like, there's there's no doubt about it. I need Lee Sin to come in really soon. Or I need to get my Sheen. My Sheen is going to save me in this lane again. Because right now I'm doing bad trades to try and get in range to even trade with her in the first place. So, let's see. We have Lee Sin coming in here. I can throw my ultimate on her, nailing it, so this will actually be a bunch of damage going to go ahead and not even let her ult me, and there's going to be the kill. Great play by Lee Sin getting in there to kick her towards me, and I just gave her no chance to have a good time to even try and ult me. You could tell she wanted to the whole time, but she never had a great opportunity, so Lee Sin doing that very perfectly for me, and I'll just push this out and go back again. Thank you very much. Always gotta let Lee Sin know that he's doing a great job, because without him, this lane would be incredibly difficult for me right now. So he is doing, he is working wonders for me right now. So picked up the Sheen, picked up the Amplifying Tome for the Aether Wisp, which is, if you guys don't know yet, the uh, the part of the Lich Bane that you need after Sheen 
to get, well, to get Lich Bane. So, let's see, how's the farm looking? 62 to 42, we are 20 up, one assist, and two kills up on Lissandra. And, other than my shitty trades, we're doing pretty well. So, is, well, now that I have my Sheen, if I can literally just bum rush her and get in her face, I can out-trade her no problem. I just have to be careful to not E from too far away like this. There we go. This is a good trade for us. Boop. There we go. As you can see now that I have the Sheen, that is exactly, exactly what the power of a Fed Fizz is. So, if I can hit her with my ultimate here, she's going to be forced to alt herself. And she'll die. So either way, she'll die. And let's go ahead and just uh, go ahead and drop. Oh, there, there it is. She's going to die. Boop. Get that kill. Very ungraceful for me, but very, very easy to just pull off and execute. So let's go ahead and get these. Lease, or not least and Master Yi is coming. And this could be a finicky situation for me. Ugh. All right. Wait. Oh, this flash. No, he's going to get me. Oh, God. He got me. All right. He no flash. If he didn't flash, I could have gotten out of that, I think. Um, but he did flash. And that's actually warded. You can tell that's warded because he was able to cue into me in it. I was trying to use my cue to close or make some distance between me and him. Uh, and if he didn't react super quickly, it actually would have made him have to move a little bit before he could alpha me out of that bush. So it was it was iffy. But we still tried our best, got the Aether Wisp, still picked up a kill on Lissandra, and she used her Ignite, so neither of our Ignites are up. Mine will be up much sooner than hers, so I'll actually be able to all in her really easily. It looks like Teemo picking up a kill on Trindomir, so great job up there by Teemo. And even though I did just die... Oh, what the fuck? When was Master Yi 3 and 1 now? What? What? I didn't know he was 3 and 1. Alright, whatever. I'm just going to get in here and plop down on these guys, make sure I get them all. And, fuck, I would try and roam bottom, but with Morgana, it's really hard to roam. Like, it's really hard to roam on Morgana's as Fizz, because she can just spell shield whoever you hit with your ultimate. But I'm gonna, I need to follow, so I'm gonna go ahead and get myself down here. Morgana doesn't have a lot of mana, and Master Yi is down there too. Alright, so they just warded that, they know I'm over here. They're trying to do this. So, let's go ahead and just chill in here. Obviously he knows, and I'll just sit here and out trade him a little bit. I don't mind. Let's see, he's gonna meditate that. Boop. And now I need to get out, which shouldn't be too hard. Alright, let's just get out of here then. Oh. Alright. Well, she might die. No. That was a lot of ultimates for me, though. They have no ults. Like, they literally... Well, other, other than this. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Didn't Kate ult me? Whatever. I don't know why he went alone, but that I don't know. That was that was a little questionable going. Oh. I didn't see that. Might be. Might be. And apparently Apparently I was totally totally cop locked, even more than I thought Black Shield cop locked me. So that was a good example of why I wasn't even trying to roam in the first place. I knew it blocked it, but I didn't know it just kinda like made it it seems like it just made it disappear. Or maybe it was just because he had Meditate and the Black Shield on that did no damage and it didn't knock him up. So, a little puzzle in there, but we'll be fine. I just need to farm up, get my, um, my, what's it called, my Lich Bane, and then work on my DFG. After I get my Lich Bane, I should be in a fantastic position to do anything. I'm just going to go ahead and E over this, take it, TY. That's another thing that a lot of people forget about Fizz. He can jump over a lot of walls with his E. Um, pretty much any wall that Nidalee can jump over with her pounce, you can jump over with Fizz E. So let's see, she just used her thing, her little AoE stun thing, and actually... Eh, eh. I probably could have all ended there, to be honest. Just fly in on her and kill her, but... I don't know if worth trying, so I'll just charge into her and... Well, I guess that's, that's not how that wanted to work out, but we'll go ahead and... Get myself out of here before I take too much damage. I am about 300 away from my uh, my Lich Bane. Let's go ahead and just drop my ultimate there. Actually hitting her with it, and we'll see. All right, there goes her glacial path, and she is definitely scared of me. So let's see. I can whoosh. There we go. Gonna do a bunch of damage like that. Lee Sin going to pick up a kill right here. Maybe. 
Maybe? I need to stay over on this side more. Oh, that's going to be the Dragon's Rage for the kill. And there's the ward in that bush. Let's see. All right. Lissandra did run away. Ugh. Oh, man. All right, let's see. I might be able to do something here. Wait, she still has her ultimate. Never mind. I don't want to. I really don't want to. I'm actually pretty sure I could kill her if I jump on her with my E first. But it's kind of risky. Especially now that I just got hit by that Q. So that's really risky. Um, I'm going to try and just stay out of her face for now. Because once my ultimate's back up again, I can probably get her. And I have enough money for my Lich Bane, so there's no reason to really try and force myself into any really unfavorable fight. So let's go ahead and just jump up here. Dodge out of the queue. Easy peasy. And I also am playing a bit more carefully than usual because I do have the blue. And obviously when I have the blue, not really trying to die. So let's go ahead and just turn on it with that. And boom! This will be not the kill. I'm actually just going to get out of here. Wait. Yep. Yeah. 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 Fuck! I just got outplayed so hard. I just got so outplayed by that flash. That flash just wrecked me. Alright. Well, at least I have the Lich Bane now. And this is where I'll be able to really seize my advantage. After I uh, really hardcore threw it away. So, that flash totally fucked me. If I was able to land on her with my E, which I totally thought I was going to, that would have been at least trading kills, which is what I was trying to go for after she, uh, after she ignited me. So, a big mistake. I really should have just run away after, after she ulted herself. But... Things do happen, I guess. So, at least now I have the Lich Bane. In about one more minute, I'll be level 11, so I'll have my level 2 ultimate. And that will be uh, be another time for me to all-enter. It's almost surprising how much stronger you get at level 11. But if Lee Sin comes up and ganks, um, we can probably we can get this blue back really easily. So, got that now. This side is probably warded. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Be careful, Teemo. Never mind. Alright, if I can land the fish, we can probably kill her. So, let's go ahead and drop the ultimate there, nailing it on her, and this will be, boom, there's going to be the kill, taking her out, no problem. Easy, easy peasy, just snipe her with that ultimate, no chance to do anything, and she got wrecked. So here we go, here we go, coming to help her, and she is going to try and take out this ward, and... I'm just going to stand here and take the pink out because no reason to really force myself any further. And I'll drop my pink in this bush. Now we have that. So Lisa naturally gained the blue, which is a bit of a shame. I really wanted that back. But still good that we got off Lissandra. Still very good. And one thing that you need to remember is Fizz. Uh, if you're playing against Lissandra or if you're playing Lissandra against the Fizz, literally don't use your ultimate in team fights for anything other than killing the Fizz. Um, because the second he jumps into a fight, Unless he's in mid-air with his E, he is very vulnerable. If you just hit him with that hard CC, you've pretty much already won the team fight. And that's why playing Fizz against Lissandra is so difficult. It's not even just because lane is really rough. It's because of that fact. As soon as you get ulted in the team fight, you are stuck for a pretty long time. And that is not where you want to be as Fizz. You need to be moving, you need to be mobile, and you need to be killing stuff. You need to assassinate your target and pretty much get out. So... That's one thing we need to remember. I do have my ultimate up again. I know Lissandra doesn't have her ultimate. So actually, once Lucian gets here, we can probably fight them. We can fight after Lucian here. There we go. Just tell him that. Oh, I got snared. So let's see, Lucian. Oh, there's Lucian coming in. Never mind. Lucian coming in with the calling. The Q going to land. Gonna drop the earth over here. And let's see, this will be pretty big. And that should be a kill onto her. Flashing out from the uh, from the dark binding, and we'll pick up the kill. So great job for us. Let's go ahead and just run in here. Ma oh, the bubble, and I'm going to pick that up. There's another kill, and boop, the exhaust coming out on me will be boom, a kill for Lucian. Just staying out of that tower range, weaving it in, and will get us no problem this mid turret. A four for nothing exchange because we are engaging very well and winning. So let's go ahead and just cue this guy, do some damage to him, and get out. Because what's he going to do? He a bitch. He a bitch. So, I actually don't want to taunt him too much more because I don't have enough mana. Um, 
It looks like Lee Sin. All right, they're gonna do blue. I'm gonna or do the dragon. I'm gonna pick up blue while they do this. Actually, I could probably just come help real fast and then do blue. That would probably be the better choice. So I'm going to do that instead. All right, picking that up, no problem. We're probably gonna lose mid turret right now, but once I get blue and go back, I should. I think I'll have enough money to get the um, the needless. So this will be pretty good for me. Yeah, after I go back and wait a second, I'll have enough for the needless. So, this will be good. Because after I get needlessly large rod, obviously that ups my kill potential by massive, massive amounts. And uh, gets me that much closer to my... Excuse me, what's it called? The DFG. And a lot of people actually aren't... Okay, I take that back. A lot of people are fond of DFG on Fizz, but they don't quite understand how to use it for whatever reason. Um, really? You can just... Why is he... Try. Oh, why'd he take 80 carry from me? <sighs> Whatever. It's okay. It's okay. He's doing fine. He's doing fine. Just dandy. But after you get uh, DFG, some people like to actually rush Zonias on Fizz or uh, Rabidons. I like to rush DFG because I really like to just burst everyone and see if I can do it that way. I'm going to go ahead and follow this Lissandra here. And let's see, gonna drop my ultimate over here. No, not going to hit her with that. Busting out her flash, though. So that will be no flash on her. And Master Yi dead, and it looks like Trindamir maybe picking up a kill. But he is going to die as well. There is no doubt about it. Coming towards me, using the flash, and pop! <laughs> I don't know why Leeson just flashed for that. I guess he really wanted the kill. But um, he's going to get that kill for us, and we'll push down top more for him. I don't know if their blue's up. I don't know. My phone is getting spammed. Didn't see you were coming. Yeah, I assumed. It's fine. So let's go ahead and just eat this. Clear the wave. And actually, I can take top tower. So no problem for me. Their blue is not up. And we'll get this and head towards mid. Because my ult will be up in about 15 seconds. And we can fight. My ult in 15. So 10 seconds here. The Nami wave coming in, going to hit only the spell shielded target, and Lisa actually hitting it on Caitlyn. I got her. I got her. I got her. Shazam! <laughs> Gonna take that kill, no problem. Morgana trying to get away from us. I have faith that my teammates will get her. So instead of chasing it and missing a lot of experience and minions, I'm just going to get all the mains instead. Cause I'll actually get more money out of doing this than I will for uh, killing Morgana when I'm pretty positive my teammates got her. So. Just going to do this instead of be greedy. And who knows? I may be able to pick up something out of this. So let's go ahead and drop the ultimate here. Drop the ignite. And that'll be the end of this. So, whoop. Uh-oh. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, God. Master, you did a lot more damage than I thought. Oh. You rush. MVP. Fuck. I keep forgetting that Master, is strong. What? Like, when is he getting kills? I'm not even seeing him getting kills. That sucks so much. And there's... Fuck. There's another reason why Lissandra's so good against Fizz. She just denies you in every single way. It's so irritating. It is so irritating to play against Lissandra as Fizz. Because she's so, so good against you. Everything about her is perfect for playing against Fizz! I hate it. It's the same way with Cassidy, though. Um... Because Cassidy is so good against Lissandra, like, well, actually not anymore he wouldn't be. Because his Q doesn't silence, that's right. Shit. Lissandra's unstoppable. You guys heard it here first. Just play Lissandra. You'll win every single game you ever play. But let's see if we can do something over here. See if we can make some money. Alright, dropping the Fizz ultimate. Gonna drop the DFG. Boom! This'll be a bunch of damage. Pop! Taking him down. And this'll be a bunch of damage off on him. And he's gonna die. Pop! Good job, Lee, picking up that Q kill. And let's rush back to mid. And I need my Zonias really badly so I can try and jump in and burst someone. And if I'm fast enough, if I'm <laughs> as long as I'm faster than Lissandra, I can outplay. That's this is that that's the part of the game where this this matchup gets really interesting. I have to really be truly faster than Lissandra to outplay her after I get my Zonias, because if I don't Zonias at the right time and don't kill her before she ults me or herself, we're in for a pickle. And she did rush a Zonias, which is a really good item on Lissandra, by the way, because it lets you um, 
totally negate having to use your ultimate on yourself for protection. It lets you just use your ultimate on other enemies, and if you need to get out of something yourself, you can just zone yous. So, it's insanely good on her. And she is definitely, definitely doing the right thing. But I'm going to go get my secret so I can get that stack in just a bit more AP and have, um, have more armor for the Trindamir and more, or, uh, Master Yi and their AD carry. So... fine for me. I'm actually not farming too terribly as Fizz. Obviously I could be doing better, but 166 at 25 minutes is not horrible for someone that I should have been roaming a lot more on. So in reality I've just been sucking dick, and I need to get blue and see if we can do something. Looks like Teemo's handling, Teemo's handling Chindamir just fine. So, we can do that. I'm going to get bot and blue. There is way too much farm at bottom for me to just ignore. Because that will add up again for this next wave. And I really, really want all that money. And um, even though Trinomir just died, I don't think we'll be taking down mid turret. Not against their team. So I do find it would be a better use of my time right now to push and get more money out of getting all these minions and then getting the blue buff. And we could fight on Dragon too. Because that's up and it looks like... Oh, what the heck? Where are you going, Fizz? We can do Dragon right now, though, because um, of how much damage just went down, Caitlyn. So, at least it actually just missed his key. That's kind of funny. And I'm actually just going to run over here so he can... Okay, he doesn't want to safeguard to me. Fine, cool. Cool man. But Dragon's free, and then after this, I'll be getting the blue. And, whoop, there we go. Easy peasy. And let's see. They're... Are they... Oh, shit. Okay, this is not the time for me to go get blue now. Because uh, they either knew we were doing dragon, or they're j we need to get over there. The simple truth is we have to get over there. They could be baiting it, but we need... Oh, they were not doing it, they were baiting it, and he's dead. He is definitely dead. Alright, let's see, can we fight this still? It looks like the Flash Soul Shackle's coming out, and I don't know if I want to try and do anything... As long as we get out right here, this isn't bad for us. Because we can stop their Baron really easily if they go for it. And if they try and push, we can stop that as four people. So actually face checking a Baron bait and them not getting Baron and more than one kill out of it is actually really good. Like all things considered, that went very, very well for us. And since we do have vision on the Baron, they're going for it. We know we don't have, or we know they don't have Lissandra. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and take her out. So there's her life gone, and I'll be able to get out no problem. And let's see, are they still? They're still going for the Baron. Need the teammates there to try and take them out. And I don't know if we'll get there in time. They're splitting off. Let's see if I can get it. And Shazam! Oh, not gonna get it. Let's go ahead and try and do some stuff here, and that will be the end of that. This should be a fight that they can win though, no problem. Now that, um, I was able to bust a lot out of them, and let's see, not going to get that Q off. I kind of wish that I went in there a bit later. I thought he would smite as soon as I came in, but he did a good job of keeping his cool and not missing the smite, so Morgana's definitely going to die here. There's, she's not getting out from that, so at least we'll take Baron off of, what, three of them, four of them? Too many of them. Too many of them to just ignore. And yeah, she's she's gonna die. She's gonna die. All right, the empowered Nami auto attack slowing her down. The bubble missing. The another empowered Nami auto and the spell shield and the Q landing and auto and tick. Timo picking up that kill. Got another needlessly large rod though. We are only 450 gold away from our Zonias now. The blue is still there for me even, so that'll be good. I'll just go get bottom. Getting bot and blue, then Zonias, then coming to group. Cause then I should be 16. I'll have my Zonias. I'll have blue. Everything will be in a really good position for us. Other than the fact that a few of them have Baron. But that's overall on the grand scheme of things right now. That's not really that much of a concern. So, getting all this. After we get all this down and take the blue, I'll have... Yep. Yep. I'll have a... Well, I don't know if I'll actually be 16 off of this. I really don't. Um, hopefully I will. I might... I, I actually don't think I will be. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to be. So, that kind of stinks. Maybe I can get off the white real fast? I don't know. But we did get enough money for... Nope, not going to get off a of white. Shit. I could get bot farm, but they need me to group right now. They really... 
I am pretty necessary right now with how strong I am. Even though I'm not super, super, super fed anymore like I should have been earlier in this game with how it went. The fact that I was against Lissandra just shut me down way too much. Because she's so powerful against Fizz. Uh, it made it really hard for me to be able to do anything. Looks like Lee Sin 1v1ing the Trinomir. Trinomir gonna, oh, we got Master Yi coming in here. Let's go ahead and drop the ultimate on him. And he is going to try and get out, but will not find his escape route. And Trinomir just uses ultimate, so if I keep chasing after him, that is going to be an easy, no, 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 no. All right, got the Zonias off. Now let's go ahead and, oh, really good timing right there by them. Ugh, wait, why aren't, guys. Guys, fight. Trind has no ult, and Liss has no ult. They have no reason to not fight there. They had absolutely no reason to not fight there. They would have won that. That's a bit of a shame. I guess I didn't see Trindamir misuse his ultimate like I did when he was over here. So they probably thought they were going to get baited into something. My team definitely could have really won that. But, oh man. I should have expected Lissandra to be there. I saw Morgana coming up, but I didn't see Lissandra. In, or, uh, I saw Morgana. Yeah. I saw Morgana coming up, but I didn't see Lissandra in this bush. Sorry. They have, they have confusing names for me. Because I'm, I'm dumb. That's the simple truth there. I'm pretty dumb. But, damn. Without Yi in the fight, and no ultimates, that should have been really, really easy for us to win. That's a bit of a shame. But I think we'll still be more than okay right now. Um... It could be actually really worth for me to get a Banshee's Veil. So I might actually consider doing that. Um, I get Void Staff and Banshee's Veil. Because I don't really need the extra burst from a Rabadons to take out someone like Caitlyn. Um, but you know, I do need it to take out... Oh, alright, there's Caitlyn taking some damage. Taking some huge damage now. Yeah, she is definitely... Not looking hot. Uh, let's see. If someone... If Caitlyn comes over here, I can... Wait, if anyone comes over here, really, I can probably kill him. Um... Oh. Oh, I saw you, Caitlyn. I saw you, girl. Oh, Caitlyn. Caitlyn, my girl! Caitlyn, my girl! You dead. Boop. Taking her out, no problem. No more Caitlyn in this next fight. So just being in the right place at the right time, doing my assassin thing will be doing it for me. Let's go ahead and just jump on out of here. Slow her down. Not get snared there. And, oh. Walk away. Alright. Wait. No. Lee Sin, are you okay against Trindomir, buddy? I don't know if he's okay. But we need to be... I hope he's okay. Because I'm going to try and help push mid instead. Maybe. I need to watch out for Lissandra's ultimate. Because that'll fuck me. Um, as we've already been over a billion times. So it looks like, oh, Lee Sin actually is still doing this 1v1. His ultimate, oh, there's the endless rage from Trindomir. And Trindomir is going to try and run out, but I'm going to chase him down. Because I really don't want him to live. So, oh, Lee Sin with the flash Q going to be denied. And he is going to pick up the kill. So I wasted my time running all the way up here. That is a bit of a shame. We have a lot, well, they don't have a huge wave pushing bottom, but it's a decent wave. So I kind of wish I had gotten up there sooner. Uh-oh. Looks like... Lucian. Oh, the flash. Not going to get the proper target, but let's see if I can get in here. Gonna drop this on her, and bam. Alright, this should be a kill. Never mind, it won't. Alright, I need to get this. E and. Uh, uh. Alright, got one. Uh, no. Uh, uh, come on. Come on. No, Master Yi is gonna get me, but the Soul Shackle is coming out onto only Teemo, and he is definitely dead. Yi is dead, so the Alpha Strike not going to win. And that will be overall pretty well played by me for the most part. Could have been better, but definitely really, really good for our team still. Because we just got 4 for 2 and also picked up, are going to pick up some, um, some objectives off of it as well. So, let's see. It's just, yeah, it's just Morgana and Teemo. And with, or Morgana and Trinomir, I mean. So with Teemo there, they actually should be fine to duke him out. But I guess they're not going to. So let's see. As you guys can see in that fight, though, I don't really need flat AP as much. I just really need to get my Void Staff, and then I'm, like I said, probably just going to go for a Banshee's Veil. So I can try to avoid um, something like a Morgana Snare, or unless... Um, like, I can try to avoid fit or Lissandra's... Jesus Christ, I'm having the hardest time speaking. I can try to avoid Lissandra's W or her ultimate. And I apologize for being so bad with speaking right now. It's... 
so I'm tired. <laughs> I am tired, so I'm having a really hard time saying names. But I'm going to grab this blue. We got our Void Staff after they got Dragon and I sold my Doran's Ring for it, which is totally worth. And after I get blue, I'll probably try and assassinate Caitlyn again. And actually, the only reason I didn't assassinate Caitlyn right off the bat is because I did get exhausted by, uh, by Morgana in that last fight. So that was a really, really good exhaust by her to exhaust me when she did. Even though we came out on top of it still, it was still, like, exactly what they needed to do. So it looks like ye. Let's see if I can... If I can catch him out, that would be amazing. So I'm just going to run over here. And, all right, there he is. He did do his red. All right, he's not coming for his golems. That kind of sucks. Shoot. If he was going for his golems, I definitely could have killed him. But since he didn't, I can't. There's a Caitlyn trap right there that I don't want to touch. So let's see. They did just ward that. So something for me to note. When you're an assassin, if you can pay attention to where they put any wards in their jungle, you'll be way better off. Because the more you know, the better off you'll be uh, trying to assassinate someone. Because obviously, if they can see you, they're not going to go to you. So, kind of, kind of clear. Ooh, they have a pretty big top wave up there going. Uh, let's see. It looks like the bubble coming out onto Lissandra. Glacial Path not going to get him in there. The Teemo Shroom actually going to whittle them down quite a lot. And that'll be good for us. Let's go ahead and just jump on in here. Get this. And she is going to definitely go down. And I'll drop the ultimate right here. And not going to do... Oh, doing massive work actually with my ultimate... Nailing a lot of them in the queue, going to hit Lissandra up, and this will be the flash. There's going to be the kill. Wait, is he not going to auto-air? Oh, the Zonias, and we just won the game pretty much. Able to burst Trindamir and Master Yi together with standing on my ultimate that I was able to get there after I killed Caitlyn with her GA. That was massive. So we took out their big carries, and they, well, we don't have minions to push in with. But we got their mid inhibitor for sure, and Botwave is pushing a very good time for us. So I'll just pick up these home guards and defend the base after this. So even though I did die, I died for a greater cause. And I'm actually, to be totally honest, I'm pretty satisfied with how I'm playing in this game. Because if you guys didn't know, it is actually like mid platinum ranked. And um, playing against the Lissandra is, in my opinion, one of the hardest things as a Fizz. The only thing that's probably harder is rise I would say maybe but Lissandra is massively difficult so I'm pretty pleased with how I'm playing this game overall because I'm still doing exactly what I need to do as Fizz and that's taking out priority targets and um, doing massive damage to a lot of people in the, like in general so if I was doing really badly I'd be sad but as you can see I'm not so I don't know if Baron's a great idea right now uh, we should probably wait for the lanes to push first, and then go for Baron. And I'm pushing top right now, so they don't really have anything they can just not worry about. But let's see. Oh, Lissandra going to go for this blue. I can totally catch her here. She just used her path. I'm going to go ahead and drop the ultimate, and boop, there goes his endless rage. Let's go ahead and just drop. Oh, if I got the ignite off on him, I would have been able to kill him. But this will be a blue for us. So be able to get this no problem for myself and after this I can let's see yeah I stood in front of that Morgana shield I or that Morgana binding I seen it coming so just wanted to make sure she wasn't gonna get that from me and we will be able to get this Baron I can go back and stop ye so as long as I don't die here I got ye so I'll recall use my home guards fly at them and I think I'm just going to go for more damage anyways because fuck it. I'm feeling it. Now let's see. He's going to get that tower, but he won't get anything more because now I am here. Hello, Master Yi. Hello. Woo! Going to do a bunch of damage to him here. Let's go ahead and drop the ignite. Oh. Okay. I guess he chose he didn't want to fight me. So, Master Yi's flash is down. Um, yeah. Well. <laughs> did... That was actually like the last way I expected that fight to turn out. Um, yeah, I am just baffled right now. Like, I'm sure you guys can tell by my reaction. I am just... I am just baffled. Um, <laughs> so let's pick that up. I think I'm just going to go for more damage. That sounds way more fun. Uh, instead of going for Banshees. Because, you know, in reality, I don't give a fuck. 
So we'll just get the Needless. And I'll go for that Rabidon. So it looks like, yep, they were able to catch out the Master Yi. Not sure how, but he is going to definitely die there. It looks like Teemo coming in, and I don't know if they use Lissandra ultimate or not. Teemo trying to do as much as he can. The Flash onto the trap. Will the Poison ticker down? It could. Let's go ahead and get in here, and Shazam! That will be a bunch of his HP gone, and there's one kill, and two kills going to go out there. And let's see if we can get this, maybe. No, I'm not going to get there in time to stop her. But, lots of damage there. Let's go ahead and just charge up here for this thinger. And we'll be able to... Oh, wait. Oh, it's just Lissandra. Whoops. Never mind. I didn't see that it was just Liss. I messed up. I'm sorry. Whoa, looks like he's going for some good damage there. And good job. AFK. Rip, boom! Get out of here. Fuck. Fuck me, dude. Get off of me. <laughs> Jeez, that tower. But as you can see, it was just whoever can hit their buttons quicker. And that time I was able to DFG her midair. Take her out, no problem. Gonna win this game. Let's go ahead and just... Golden pull, baby! And that will be the end of that game. So, Fizz, like I said, very fun champion to play. Sorry that I couldn't perform better with him. Um, overall, I think I did pretty well, given it was Lissandra. But I kind of wish it was someone else, because I could have gotten like crazy fed and just wrecked like I usually do with Fizz and ranked because uh, Fizz I mean you just all in early with him and win but anyways if you guys are new to this video still make sure you like and favorite list me out if you want to you can follow me on Facebook Twitter or Twitch all things will be in the description below and as always I love you guys hope you have a wonderful day peace